Well, I don't know what you mean by bleak. What I can tell you is that um, right from day one, when we started this campaign, it, has, uh, it was always good. But uh, the impact of social media, propaganda of some of the contestants, uh, distorted the entire picture of what was on the ground. But uh, to God be the glory, today people have seen our level of popularity and acceptance by our members, and it has put to shame those who always thought that we were imposed by the party and that we don't have the numbers. Today, people have seen that we have established a record that has never been established in the past. 353 out of 359 members electing us. It is unprecedented. It has never, ever happened in the history of parliament. Right. So, now, what do you tell Nigerians? Because already um, some people are afraid that uh, the new National Assembly, it's talking about the tenth one, might be a robber stamp in the hands of the executive, uh, being that uh, you are already favored right from outset. Well, if uh, you talk about robber stamp, look at the acceptance rate, those who have uh, elected those across party lines. Almost all the, the whole entire PDP, SDP, ADC, and all other minority parties voted us. So if uh, they feel that uh, we are going to be robber stamps, do you think they will, uh, they will uh, elect us? No. They believe that uh, we will safeguard the sanctity of the National Assembly, the legislator. We will always separate our independence and we will, be, we will, uh, we will relate and be able to uh, harmonize with the executive where necessary. But where there is a conflict of interest where we feel that the executive is or wants to do something that is not against, uh, is not in the interest of the uh, public, they know that we will stand, uh, stand up against that. Congratulations and we wish you well. Thank you. Yeah. What we promised during the time we went to all the constituencies in the Federal Republic canvassing for votes. We promised that we're going to ensure that nation building remains a joint tax that will not be left only for the executive or the judiciary to handle. We promise that we are going to be there to make sure we add our own bricks to the nation building wall. And these will extend to creation of jobs, reduction of poverty, policies that goes into enhancing our energy sources, policies that will help us you know, create more local content usage in this country, manufacturing that will help us reduce importation and increase exportation, that will stimulate our economy. And as you, you see in the past 15, year, 15 days, Mr. President has been taking the right decisions you know, on issues. We want to sustain that through legislative support, legislative intervention 